If you want to learn what is the best tool to create websites, landing pages, funnels, you're on the right video. I'm going to explain to you what kind of platform you should use right now to create all those things. What is the best platform out there? What is the simplest platform out there? What is the most user-friendly platform out there that you should use to create all these things? So stay with me and welcome to the Escape 9 to 5 show. Funnels and landing pages are incredibly important for our business. And you know what I'm talking about if you have an online business. We constantly need to create new pages, create new funnels, create new landing pages. And we need a tool that allow us to create all these things super quickly and super user-friendly. Every year I post a video like this on my channel. I keep trying different website builders and I try to understand what is the, the one that we have to use right now. And we are here to talk again about Elementor. But in this video, I want to explain to you why Elementor right now, it's even better than in the past. Now, if you follow my channel, if you know the content that I provide on this channel, you already know that I'm a big fan of Elementor, right? I've been using it for the last years. My entire website has been created with uh, Elementor. All my landing pages are created with Elementor and I'm a huge fan of the tool. But still, I keep attention. I keep an eye on other tools because I want to be sure that Elementor is still the best one and I don't have to use anything else from the competitors. Well, I'm going to explain to you why Elementor is even better. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you have no idea what Elementor is, well, Elementor is a plugin for WordPress. Well, actually it used to be a plugin for WordPress, but wait for it. I'm going to talk about this later. WordPress is a platform platform that is pretty popular for websites, for landing pages, for web pages. Actually, 37% of all the websites that you may find on the web, they're created using WordPress. This makes you understand why you want to use WordPress to create a website. And today, over 7.1% of the world's top 10 million websites use Elementor. The problem we had in the past with Elementor was that you needed to have knowledge about WordPress. You need to know how to use WordPress to use Elementor. So in the previous videos that I've done, you probably have heard me talking about the fact that if you don't know how to use WordPress or you have no technical skills about WordPress, maybe it's better to use something else. Now, this problem doesn't exist anymore. Elementor created a new plan called Elementor Cloud Website. This is WordPress plus Elementor Pro plus a cloud hosting service, all bundled together for $99 per year. So all the stuff that you had to do in the past, install WordPress on your hosting, well, actually get your hosting service and then install WordPress on the hosting and then get Elementor, install the plugin inside, inside your WordPress website, all those things, you don't have to care about them anymore. So you can focus on what matters, that is actually creating your funnels and your web pages. And this solution is not great just for you. It's simpler even if you're creating websites or you're creating funnels for your clients. Because right now you can give a package to your clients where everything is included. Instead of explaining to your client why they need a hosting and they have to buy a domain and then they have to install and then you have to install WordPress in their hosting and then install Elementor in their WordPress platform. Instead of doing all these things, you can get for $99 per year, you can get an entire package. You can create a funnel, a website, web pages for your clients, and then you can deliver to them an entire package with everything included. Now, if you are interested in this plan and you want to take a closer look to Elementor Cloud website, check the description of this video because there is a link there that will connect, that will redirect you straight to Elementor Cloud website. Something that I want to tell you is that if you get, if you decide at the end to buy Elementor Cloud website, website with a link that you have below in the description, do one thing, send me the receipt of your purchase to my email address that you can see right now on the screen, but you can see on the description as well. Send me the receipt of your purchase because since you bought through my affiliate link, I'm going to give you bonuses that you're not going to find anywhere else. I'm going to give you all my best templates that I'm using with Elementor, import them into your Elementor website, and then tweak them, change all the information. I'm going to give you as well a list of the best plugins that you can use with WordPress 
And also, if you want to create a landing page with Elementor and you don't know how to structure it, I'm going to send you my landing page bulletproof template. I'm going to show you exactly how to structure a landing page and what are the different areas and sections that you need to have in that. Anyway, I want to show you how simple it is to use Elementor right now because it's really mind blowing. If you think about the experience with Elementor that you had before and you think about this package where everything is included, wait for it. I'm going to get on my laptop and I'm going to show you exactly how simple it is to use it and how fast it is to create a web page right now or a funnel right now. When you join Elementor Cloud website, the first thing that you see is your dashboard. So this is the dashboard with all the websites that I have. In your case, if it's the first time they use Elementor, you won't see anything here. I'm going to create a new cloud website. The first thing Elementor asks me for is my website name. I'm going to put escape925 and I click next. Next thing is uh, they will give you a domain that you can change. In this case, it is escape925.elementor.cloud. Uh, you can change it if you want, if you want another name and plus you can redirect later your website to your own domain. If you have your own domain, you can use yours and not care about this private domain that they create for you. So this is the link for my new website that I have. Then they're going to ask me a few questions like what kind of websites are you creating? In my case is a business corporate website. And then look at this. You have all the templates you may wish for. They start you, since I chose business and corporate website, I have the main three templates for uh, this kind of niche. Uh, I can take a look at them. If I click on what's inside, I can already take a look at how the template looks. Look how professional it is. In this case, this is for a health and fitness ebook. You can see how it looks. You can even see how it looks. You have even a pop-up here. That's really great. You can even see how it looks on tablet and on your mobile. So it's already responsive and that's great. You know, you can pick one of those templates and you can start working with that. I go back, I show you, for example, other templates, like all the types, look how many templates you can choose from and you have templates for any kind of niche and templates in different, in all the different designs that you want. If you want a really clean one or a modern one or a more detailed one, like you can choose whatever you want. You have all the choice you may expect. Let me see this one. This is for business consulting. Look how great it is already. And you know, when you choose one, you get the structure. So you can choose the picture here. You can choose colors and fonts, you can choose everything. You, you, you can change everything on for this template. At the end, the template is just a structure that you use. Okay. So I will start with this one. Click on start with this kit and Elementor right now is um, creating my brand new website with that template that I chose. It will take a few seconds for the system to put everything in place, but you will see that in a couple of minutes you already have a website that is being created for you. Now, I have the screen as well. They tell me, grab a coffee. This can take about five minutes while you're waiting. We're setting up your website, activating the Elementor Pro, Pro plugin on your dashboard. You see, they're doing all the things that you're supposed to do by yourself. All right, I flash forward a couple of minutes. Actually, it took four minutes to Elementor to set my entire website with a hosting, with WordPress and with Elementor. So here we go. This is my brand new website created for me in four minutes. Now I can get straight to the WordPress dashboard to take a look if everything is working right, or I can get into the editing with Elementor. In my case, let's take a look first if Elementor did a great job or not. I want to be sure that WordPress is working in the right way. Look at this, four minutes, and I already have a website running on WordPress with a hosting, with Elementor Pro installed in it, and I didn't have to do anything. I just chose the name, I chose a template, and everything is set for me. If I get on pages, I can see that I already have all the pages for my website. So I have the home page, the contact us page about services. It's already done. It's already done. I can already work with this website. But before 
we start working with it, I want to change a few things. So I'm going to show you as well how simple it is to use WordPress and how fast it is to change everything around this website in case you're not familiar with Warp, uh, with, uh, with uh, Elementor. Look, the website is already created this, the same exact, the same thing that we saw uh, on the template. You can see that there are already animations and uh, rollover. Everything is ready, exactly the same. We saw in the template preview, look at this, look at how beautiful it is. Even a footer, everything is in there, you know? But if I want to change something, like for example, I don't want this image and I want to put a video instead of an image. Well, I get on the sidebar, I choose the video element, I drag and drop the video element here, and here you go. You have a video, stand of the image. Or if I don't want this description, these two buttons to request consultation, discovery our service, discover our services, I can remove them really quickly. And I want a form instead, you know, for people to join my newsletter. I put a form, so the form is there. I can change everything like I want a smaller rose gap here. You go, I can change everything about here, right? I can change the font, the color, the style, everything. It's super simple. You have all the different all the different information here on the sidebar. You can change the radius, the padding, the margins, everything, the message, success message, error message, inline message. You can even create steps. I mean, you can really personalize everything about every single element that you're going to use. Or let's assume that, okay, I have an offer. Let's say that I have an offer for us for a small amount of time for a few days. Um, so I'm going to get, um, here you go, a countdown. I put a countdown here. And I'm going to change the style because this is not the right style I want. Font is too big. Let's make the font a little smaller. Here you go. Um, 30 days is a little too long. Let's put 14 days. Okay. I have this offer for 14 days. There is a description about this offer. I want to put a button there at the end to jump into the offer. I'm going to remove this. Voila. It's already done. I can put this in the middle of this column as well. Here you go. Perfect. Perfect. Everything is personalizable. Really, everything. You can change everything. It's incredible how simple it is, how fast it is to personalize everything. And the great thing that I still haven't showed you is that all you see here is already perfect for every platform, every kind of platform, every like this in case, in case the, the one that you see right now is the tablet version. So any device you're going to use, everything will look amazing. Look for the tablet version. I already have a menu here at the top. Then everything is responsive. Look how beautiful it is. And I didn't have to do anything. Everything is set. The new item that I put, everything is already perfect for the tablet version. Let's get to the mobile version. Look at this mobile version. Everything looks amazing. My form looks amazing. I already have a menu here. If I scroll down, the video is in there. You know, I can even change the, show you something really cool. Look at this. I can reverse this column. So if I want the video at the top and the form below, just for the mobile version, I have it. And then I go back to the tablet version and then this is at the top and the video is below. Like I can really personalize everything. That's how powerful Elementor is. So everything is set to be amazing on every device. Look at this. Didn't do, I haven't done anything. And the website is totally responsive. It's amazing. It's really, really amazing. Okay. I'm going to save this. And I want to show you another important part of Elementor. Probably the most important thing when you create a website is to be sure that your website is fast to load. If your website is really heavy, it takes a long time to load a page. 
Well, it doesn't matter if you have a great design, is it, if your website is responsive, but if it takes 10 seconds to load a page, no one will wait that amount of time to see your website. So I want to be sure that everything that Elementor created for me is really fast to load. I get on GT Metrics, that is one of the most popular websites to see how fast your website load. I'm gonna put here new URL I have for my website and I wanna take a look if actually my website is fast or is really slow. If right now GT Metrics is gonna tell me that my website is slow, well, I don't need Elementor anymore, right? So look at this. I already have a website created for me with a lot of images, with video, with everything. And the grade that GT Metrics gives me is B. Now it's not perfect, but B is amazing. Obviously you can do a lot of other things to make it faster. Maybe I can uh, remove a few images. Maybe I can do a few things. I can keep working on the homepage a little more and make it become a knee. But I can tell you that 99% of the website out there they don't even have a B, you know, even having a B is a great performance. Other thing that I want to show you that is super important, it's about having support. You know, support for me is one of the most important things. When you have a problem, you want to have a fast support. And on your Elementor dashboard, you have this button here that you can click anytime you want and you can start a new conversation with support and you can ask anything you want. One reason. Why I use Elementor is because their support is incredibly fast. Every time I have a problem, look how many tickets I open. And every time I have a problem, I shoot a question, everything, because I know that they reply on the spot. So I shoot a question, even if, I, if there is a problem that I may fix by myself and it will take me a couple of hours, I get to the support, I ask them and I get an answer straight away. That's incredibly important to have for any platform you use out there. And Elementor is incredibly great about this. And the last thing that I want to tell you is that you have a hosting and you have different versions of your website. I mean that every 24 hours, Elementor will save a new version of your website. So if you keep working on your website, you will have all the previous versions that you worked on. If you make a mistake, for example, and then you realize it after a week, you can go back to the version that you had seven days ago. Again, guys, for $99 per year, this is really a lot. It will save you a lot of time to set everything in place and it makes everything so simple. You just focus on what matters. So I'm not here just to promote you a new tool. This is actually something that I use on a daily basis and I love it and I keep using it because I love it. Remember the fact that if you get Elementor Cloud website with a link that you have in the description, remember to send me your receipt to my email address because I'm going to give you my best templates that you can import into your Elementor website. You will get my list of the best plugins that you should use with WordPress. And also you will get my landing page bulletproof template. Anyway, I would like to know what is your opinion and your feedback about Elementor Cloud website. Let's have a conversation in the comments. And for the rest, I'm going to see you always here in my channel in my next video. See you there.